Today I started with this small island and I turned it into an epic village trading. Okay, so this right here is where I want to build it, but as you can see, there's a lot of forest, so we gotta get rid of that. Okay, so that took way longer than expected. We are already an hour into this project, but we have fully cleared all the trees on this island. So what we need next is villages, so we need to find a village somewhere around here. Hello, any villagers? Okay, there has to be one somewhat close. I mean, okay, well this is the bounty hunter phase. Wait, what? There's a raid? Hey, I mean, I, I could do with some extra totems. All right, quick side quest. Finish this raid. Where are they? Oh, found them. Oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. Two ravages do so much damage. I think that ravager is just outside. Oh shit, they can open it all. It's not a very good thing to forget about. Oh, no way. Did you see that shot? Yeah. Ooh, in the village. Five more totems. Let's go. So there are villagers here, and I did just save them from a raid, so... I don't know, maybe... Maybe they'd be fine when they take one. The only problem is that the Bounty Hunter's base is over 1,500 blocks away. So this is gonna take a while. I immediately got to work, setting up a rail line to move the villages. All right, and off he goes. Okay, I don't know why he's named that, but uh, no, 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 don't run away from me, please. Where did he go? Hey, buddy, look at this lovely boat I got for you. We're going on a trip in a favorite trip. Oh, look at his big, big, bald forehead. That wasn't too bad. Now I just gotta do that one more time. And we're here. Before I built the villager breeder, I went back and cleaned up all my mess and made sure to leave a gift to pay for the villagers that I took. So then I went ahead and built the villager breeder. The design I'm using is a design by Shocklecraft. I'll put the link to this tutorial in the description along with all the other tutorials for all the other farms and builds I used in this video. Before we can continue with the video, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually a part of Potato Town. So, if you're enjoying the video, subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Alright, and the villager breeder is now complete, so now let's make a zombification chamber. So, basically where we can take the villager from down here and we can turn it into a zombie, a zombie villager and then heal again to get rid of the chains. Okay, so I've made a bit of a zombification system here, and I'm gonna test this out, and uh, I hope it works. Okay, take two. We gotta, we gotta go away. He's angry yeah, on us. Oh, oh, let's go! It's working. Let it worked. Let's actually go. Okay, so now Turn we have a boy. completely working villager breeder and zombifier. So now we can get working on the like laying out where everything will actually go. See, I want the center to probably be like right, kind of here. Bit of a room here. Okay, so I've rethought the idea. I'm thinking big circle is what I'm thinking. So then I laid out the whole circle. Oh no, something's wrong with the circle. What is it? Oh, false alarm. There wasn't actually anything wrong. Okay, so this right here is how big this thing is gonna be. We've got a lot of digging to do. And uh, there's a couple of people around now, so uh, I think we can get some help. And these are the final blocks. I'm fully done this whole thing, but now we actually have to do even more, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig another circle in the middle of this, and then take that one down, and then we'll probably do that one more time. So uh, let, let's just do this whole thing and get it over. Okay, so everything's all healed up now. Now we've got to actually get to work moving all the villagers into here. I just realized that before we can actually like get any villagers, we have to get a bunch of like profession tables. So that I think is gonna take a while. We'll put them all in, uh, in this chest, just, just here. Okay, so we have got a bunch of lecterns, cartography tables, stone cutters, composters, and fletching tables. We got all the profession tables and we had everything we needed to get started, but then Scoofer did a silly. I voiceovered his thoughts just to try and understand what his thought process was here. 
I'm hungry. Potato is so actually have food. Ooh, Ooh trap door. Chocolate bar. Yeah. I want to flick it. Uh, I flick trap door. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh, it's so guys. P fell in my hole. Oh yeah. my god. Oh. I can do it. I How can are do we this. gonna? I kind of blame Sitsu. I'm gonna be 100%. What? What? What did I do? <laughs> I just killed a bunch of villagers. Wait, is P okay? You killed P. You killed P. You killed P, bro. So smart, bro. Oh wait, you got him. Yep. Oh, oh well, uh, well. Okay, some great teams, yes. Guys. I got one. Oh, okay. God. Where are you? Um, I'm we dying. somehow need to get all of these into that tube. Or we could just kill them all and reset. You know what? Oh, no, kill them all. Wait, wait, wait. Why don't we do it fun though? Yeah. Sit, sit. Do the boost. There was still a problem though. For some reason, even after we fixed the farm, it still wasn't producing any villagers. So I AFK'd overnight and came back in the morning to see if maybe that would help. Oh, you're joking. Yeah, we need two more new villagers. And so I went back to the bounty hunter base, got two more villagers, and upgraded my payment from a totem to a netherite ingot, because now I had taken four villagers from them. Even when I got these villagers in, for some reason, they didn't work too. Until I finally figured it out. Bro! It's so obvious, I figured I was wrong. Wait, 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 look. They didn't think they can get to the beds, because they oh. thought that there was an air block there. Oh, that's... I'm so happy this is over, but I'm also so frustrated I didn't notice that before. <laughs> okay, now that's good. I also want to show you guys this that I've been making. Uh, yeah, I was waiting for a while, so I built a very nice like little interior here. This is where we can lock in villagers before sending them off. Okay, everything was perfect. Everything was ready. We had everything we needed, and now it was time to get started on the biggest grind of this whole project. By far. And that was getting the villagers, locking in their trades, and sending them to where they need to go. This was at least two days grinding off this project, it was just locking in the villagers. For each villager, we would send a minecart through here to collect it, then it would get zombified. We would then send it over here, and then hit this button to give it weakness, and then give it a golden apple to heal it. And after that, I'll take it into here and lock in its trades, and fully level it up while it's in here too. Okay, so as you can see now, we have gone through a absolute ton of villagers, but we keep loot running out of golden apples, and we have already used up pretty much everyone's spare supplies of golden apples. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and build a, a gold farm so that we can get golden apples. Okay, so for a gold farm, you need tons of magma blocks. So I got to work straight away collecting a lot of magma blocks. One shulker box down, and two boxes, and that's the last shulker box, and we just need to collect a little bit more. Alright. That should be good, that's fair. Okay, so we've got all the miscellaneous items, and we've got all the other resources just here, so now all we have to kind of do is go to the nether and get building. Okay, so now the gold farm is fully complete, so we're going to test this out for the first time and make sure this works. Here we go. Okay, just hit that guy. Now I come into the center here. And from 20 minutes, we have gotten like, what is it, 60 levels, and let's see how much gold. So from just 20 minutes, we got six and almost six and a half stacks of gold ingots. That is so good. Half an hour, that's like a stack of gapples. It, like, it, using the golden apples, we were able to finally finish off getting all the villagers in. Here. So many here, we've got pretty much everything we would ever need. I'm not going to go around and show you guys, because, I mean, there's not really much point to that. But now what we've got to do is we've got to get on to the building. So already while waiting for villagers to not unzombify or whatever you call it, I have already gone ahead and textured parts of this, but we're still not even close to finished. We need to start off by installing some walls. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for a bit of like a gradient from the bottom level to the top. So the first thing I'm going to need is we'll need spruce logs. And I believe that, yes, there are a ton here. So we can take these. And all we have to do is fully destroy these and replace them with spruce logs. Alright, so it's all stripped down on this first layer, but I left an empty space because we need to copy this, like, kind of staircase over onto the other side. Okay, so those two are done, and I also want to add staircases here as well as here. Okay, all staircases are in and looking very cool. 
So now let's do this level's wall, which are going to be stripped oak logs. Okay, the second layer's walls are fully complete, and this place is starting to look so sick. Oh my god, I'm just thinking about at the start of the video how this place looked. And now, it is looking so cool. Okay, so now we have to do the final walls, which is going to be stripped birch. And this this one is going to take a while. Okay, so now all the kind of basic structure is in, so now what we need to do is we need to start detailing. Starting off with all these little spaces with the villages in them. We need to turn the behinds of those into the corresponding wood plank. So that looks a lot nicer. Okay, and what I've decided is we have a lot of space to use here. So why don't we give these villages a bit more space here, actually, just to hang around instead of being fully enslaved. So, um, how about we can make this middle one like this, and then these ones can be like this big, and this big, and they can have their own little kind of rooms, it'd be cool. Yeah, look at this, this is way more nice. And then for these guys, I can have them have the corners like this. Okay, so I've upgraded all of their little homes, but they still feel really dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them some light. Oh wow, I finished this and it's just becoming night and this place looks so cool. Wow. Okay, we gotta do this for all the other levels. Okay, so we have done this to every level and it looks so nice. And at the bottom, we have done, we've made like a little house for these special villages, because these villages are how we get all our emeralds. If you don't already know, there's a trick where you can buy glass off, uh, off this guy, turn it into glass panes, and trade it to this guy for one for one emerald when this is zombified. And so Scoof has got them zombified, since his origin class makes it so that their trades never run out for him. So he can just get an absolute ton of emeralds really fast. So yeah, that's why these guys are so special. Now what I need to do is I need to texture this whole floor part just here. Okay, so I textured it, and now what I want to do is I basically want to build a bunch of kind of rims along the sides like this. And then for a bit more decoration, on the edges here where it comes up just next to the stairs, I'm going to expand this up and put trapdoors on the edges. And on top of each of these, I want to have like a little kind of flower arrangement of kind of leafy thing. And I'm going to see if Fer I can get Fergu to do that, because he is really good at them. Alright, so we added a lot more greenery, and this whole area now is really practical. We've got tons of chests here. Got like all this practice stuff, we've got ender chest in the middle, and we've got lots of cool lighting, and I'm overall I am really happy with this. It's crazy to think that today we started with this, and now we've ended up with this. Like that is just insane. But there is still one last thing that we have to do. Throughout this whole process, there has been a massive issue, which is every single time it rains. I take so much damage, and I have actually died multiple times just because it started raining. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a massive dome over this whole thing that'll also make it completely safe and will stop the rain when it rains. Okay, but not only will we need a ton of glass, but I don't want this just to be normal glass. I want to dye it green, and I want the green that you get from cactus, so now we have to go get a ton of cactus. And so after removing literally every cactus from like the entire server, we are finally ready to build this dome. Completely finished. Wow, this thing is really cool. This thing is sick.